quarter. Yeah, it felt good. We had momentum. And then just uh, same silly mistakes. You know, penalties are penalties horrendous. I don't, I've coached a long time. I don't know if I've ever had 13 penalties for a well, 143 yards. And I, some of them were good calls. Some of them I had to watch the film on. Some of them that I thought were been caught on them. But, you know, it's still, we could have, you know, they're killers. You stop them. It's, it's so hard for us to stop somebody. And we finally stop them and give them a first down, you know, on a penalty or, and, uh, you know, some kind of poor technique. And so it's just, you can't do those things. You're not a good football team. When you do those things, you don't give yourself a chance to beat anybody. But no, to answer your question, we, we've got some momentum. I always feel like we're in. The, uh, the grounding call against Brandon, did you think that one was a little tight? You know, I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't even think about grounding. I thought we had two guys there, but I'll have to watch the film. It's not reviewable because it's a judgment deal. Coach. Had you hoped or planned to put Iowa in the game a little earlier? Yeah. Yeah, Brandon was, you know, he's running the ball well, but throwing the ball, at the, you know, some of the protection was breaking down. And, and uh, you know, I knew went in there and, and did some good stuff. But I don't know, I may, may start him this week. I don't know. I thought to, I, I, it's better to watch the film first and, and uh, to, to truly judge the quarterbacks and decision making. You know, he's really played well. There was a couple times where, you know, he bounced something or didn't didn't quite press a certain play. But for the most part, boy, he's a competitive guy. He's you know, he's playing really hard, and and it's a good thing. You know, he's uh, he's the one tailback we have with a little bit of burst, and so I thought he played pretty well. Josh was seven of nine. Field goals coming into tonight with only misses from 52 yards, and then yeah. tonight it seemed like he was just off. Yeah, I mean, like yeah just was he doing one particular off thing? on uh, kickoffs, punts, field goals. You know, I've never had a kicker. Our kickoff guy somehow got hit with a ball in practice. Didn't have his helmet on. Like, I don't know what happened. Maybe he just wasn't paying attention. It's it's just hard to believe. The ball hit him on the head. You know, probably happened to all of us. But somehow that caused a concussion, and he can't kick. That's a first, too. That's a first. I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> a kicker has a concussion, and he's our kickoff guy. So Josh went in there and, you know, tried, but it wasn't good. I mean, wow, you can't, you can't make this stuff up. I mean, I wish I was. <sighs> Coach, last know. season you had uh, some shakeups on your coaching staff, notably at the defensive coordinator position. Do you believe you have seen an improvement in the defense since having that change at defensive coordinator? Well, that's a fair question. I, you know, I, it was more than the changes I made. I think it's for those who are local know that it was uh, multifaceted in my decision. It was obviously the first thing that dealt with recruiting. I wanted to try to get a recruiting base strong base in, in Southern California and, and, uh, and some other areas where I thought the new staff could help us and that's what was my focal point. I think schemes always important from, the, from a coordinator standpoint. Uh, but I also got to remind myself that everybody's learning it, even the seniors for the first time. And so I got to be a little more patient. And as, uh, you know, season long, there were some bumps and bruises. I certainly were not playing great defense, but they're trying hard, and the, and the coaches are working hard. I, we'll be fine there. When, when we get healthy, get the recruits in, and, and all that, I feel confident in our staff. Colorado ran the ball an excessive amount tonight. What was your game plan going in for stopping the run or limiting? Uh, try to stop the run, try to stop the pass. Don't make the quarterback look like a Heisman. You know, they had good wide outs, I knew that. So we, you know, when we played zone, they ran pretty well. We played man, we didn't cover them. You know, it got a couple of deep balls. We don't, we don't do, we didn't do a good job disguising anything. We just, in some of their tempo, helped them with that. But it was, uh, we made it too easy at times. But that, that comes back to us as coaches trying to change things up. But it's hard when you, when you're, you know, you got to, you're not gonna get any pressure with a three or four man rush. But when you bring more than that, you're hanging your guys out in man coverage, and you're nervous about that. I don't, you're not gonna watch the film, see what the whole breakdown was, but. We gave up too many big plays today. 
the team's two and eight now. What are you doing to mentally and physically motivate this team? In other words, what is rallying this team? What are they playing for at this point in the season? Well, I would love to. You just, if you're a competitor you, and they're keeping score, you play every play. That's what you do. I mean, I've been through this very much a couple of times. But if you're a competitor you, and, you're, and you're keeping score, which they do, you know, you want to try to win every play, not just the game. So that's you got to appeal to their competitiveness. Time for one more question. Did it surprise you to look down at the stat sheet and see that you ran more plays and gained more yards in Colorado? Mm -hmm. Well, now I felt good about moving the ball. We just didn't finish drives, and then defensively, you know, we just gave up some silly stuff on third down, whether it was a penalty or a conversion. So uh, felt good about what we were doing, just didn't execute when we had to.